Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Adrian Ross Show, the basketball edition. I, of course, am your humble host, Adrian Ross. Tell me somebody, please, why is the WNBA intent on shooting itself in the foot? Why is it that everyone associated with this league, it seems, cannot get it together? Now, I received a comment in my last video and an email concerning some more drama with Dijanae Carrington and Nalissa Smith. I haven't seen any footage. I haven't seen anybody cover it. I've been working, but I decided to take a break so that I could speak on it once I did see this little video clip. You check it out. Real quick, please. Ow! Oh, I'm sorry. You poked me in the eye. You did. Did you do it on purpose? I did not poke you. Did you do it on purpose? We all know what's going on here. We all get this little joke, this little skit, this little reenactment of when Caitlin Clark was gouged in the eye by Dijanae Carrington herself. We all we all know that the journalist Brennan asked Dijanae about it. We all know that that was followed by a big old hoopla about how dare you ask a question as a journalist that makes one of the players in the WNBA feel uncomfortable. We all know exactly what's going on here. I find it absolutely despicable. But beyond that, I find it embarrassing. This league is so unprofessional in so many ways. And you might say, well, why put that on the whole league? This is Dijanae. This is Nalissa. Listen, it's like the inmates have taken over the asylum with this league. How, how is it? And, and maybe we'll hear something soon. But it better not be that this goes unaddressed. How is it that leadership in this so-called professional league has it so that players feel comfortable playing around, joking around about another player, Caitlin Clark, being gouged in the eye? And we know that there was speculation that this mm, wasn't an accident. And, even, and Brennan even asked the question, right? Were you joking about it later on the sideline with Marina Mabry? All that is in this little skit. So even if Dijanae were telling the truth and it was a mistake, which many people doubt, would you then go and joke about it when someone was gouged in the eye? Would you then joke about it? It was bad enough, people said, that even if she made a mistake and poked her in the eye, that when she was asked about it, she didn't say, you know, she said, I didn't know, which nobody believes, but she didn't then say, I, I hope she's okay. Uh, you know, I'm sorry that it happened. She didn't say any of that. And now postseason, after they got their butt spanked by the Minnesota Lynx, now she's up there with Caitlin Clark's, Clark's teammate, joking about what happened and what ensued. Again, this is not only despicable, it's unprofessional, and it speaks to why the league cannot get over the hump. With stuff like this going on, and if leadership doesn't handle it, it doesn't deserve to go any further than it is right now. In fact, it deserves exactly what it's gotten throughout these years, unfortunately or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, with people not being interested and with more eyeballs and more attention this year, the ultimate opportunity to get the growth that you want, you still have players who do not get it. You still have a league who will not address it. They did not call that a flagrant foul. They did not call that a foul at all. And now you've got these two players, one of whom is the teammate of the person who was hurt, 
joking and laughing about it. This cannot be. Melissa Smith, we're done with you, okay? And with the new leadership of the Indiana Fever, I hope they send her packing fast. fast, with the quickness. Because if you are so unprofessional, so immature that you would joke about this with Dijonet, you don't represent what we're trying to represent as an organization. That's what I would be saying as leadership in the Indiana Fever. But beyond the Indiana Fever, when you look at the WNBA as a whole, how is it possible that either Nalissa, I should say both Nalissa and Dijonet not be called on the carpet for this? There's no room for this in a league trying to grow. There's no room for this in a professional organization. There's no room for this in sports. Dijonet, her behavior is unacceptable. I know some people don't like that phraseology, unacceptable. So let me just say it like this. It should not be tolerated. That should not be tolerated. It not only makes her look bad, it not only makes Nalissa Smith look bad, of course she, she put herself in that situation, but it makes the entire league look bad. What kind of brand do you want? What kind of reputation do you want? Will you hurt someone and then you joke about it? So that's bad enough. And then you look at Nalissa Smith and that's just straight traitor. That's straight traitor behavior. And there's gotta be no room for that in this league. People who love Caitlin Clark, who were interested in watching the league for the first time or returning to the league as I did, have already said, I'm not hanging out watching this stuff. I'm done. They had already said that. Now, maybe if they might have been reconsidering, you look at something like that and you go, do I really want to give myself to that? This league had better get it together. You want to know about being marketable. You want to know about sponsorships. You want to know about adding more fans. You want to know about anything called progress. Then you better know how you present yourselves, how you allow your players to present themselves. And that is from the team perspective, from, from Stephanie White for Connecticut, from the Fever organization dealing with Melissa, whom I don't believe will be there next season anyway. And maybe she knows that. But I would make sure she know, no. And it also speaks to this league. Get it together. You have a, a golden moment and you just don't deserve it. And the sad thing is people are going to go, Adrian, why would you say that about the entire league? That's the thing. It reflects on the league. And it's unfortunate because there are plenty of players in this league who wouldn't do any nonsense like that? That's why from the top, it has to be dealt with. Don't you have a sense of humor, Adrian? Yeah, I do. I love to joke. I love a sense of humor, but not so much to the point where someone's eye was gouged, where someone's profession, as in Brennan's, was basically, you know, they asked for her head in a charger and where where a team and a teammate are involved and just a peer in the league, just a peer. It's, it's just, just jacked up. This league just can't seem to get it together. And it is a crying shame, but I'm going to say it again as a, as an organization, they were probably done with Melissa anyway, but if not, they definitely need to be cut ties. That's toxic. You already got enough toxicity in this league. Get rid of it. And the Indiana Fever is probably the most likable team in the league. You don't need Melissa Smith jacking it up because she just can't seem to rein in Dijon A. Carrington. And if you are head of this league, if you are even considering the NBA, even considering Adam Silver, you got to get a hold of yourself here. Dijon A., I say you get the boot too. We already, it's already a mess. She's already smacking. She's already jawing. She's already, you know, I, I just, it's so, it's you're almost like, how, how do you even handle something like that? You handle it with leadership. You cut ties. You say, you know what? We're running a tight ship because we're going forward and we don't need two people. 
two people. Yeah, we're not going to let two people sink the ship. And it's not just two people, unfortunately. You got a whole lot of fat lips running around in the WNBA. Y'all, get it together. Like yesterday. Listen, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do so. I said at the beginning of this week that I wanted to get to 40,000 by the end of the week. I said it was a bold goal. I am less than 300 short from that, so I am anticipating reaching that goal. You can help if you've not smashed the subscribe button. Now's the time. And also make sure you comment and make sure you like and tune in next time because I'll be back at you, God willing. God bless you abundantly.